weekend. I was busy. I was busy taking down statues of Bill Clinton. They reminded me of something that I, I thought was awful to have the president get a blowjob under a desk. Oh, boy, we took that statue down. She went down, too. Uh, and so it, it is. <laughs> My life. In the last life, I was a centurion. And I'm taking the statue down because I don't want to be reminded of my last life. I was a gladiator too, a life before that. But you know, the Roman Empire, that fell. Oh yeah, when we took the statues of uh, uh, down south, uh, you got to remember that we also took the British down. And uh, that's how we got what we got. And, and the other thing is that if you take all the statues down now, uh, the next generation will not know there was a civil war or slavery or it was miserable and they're going to begin where they are and when you begin where you are you kind of uh, even out the playing field but then you lower the bridge for awareness and people won't know that there was a terrible thing that happened I hope you're not going to take this statue down this is the uh, wailing wall in Israel you don't want to take that down do you uh, see we could take everything down the thing that the president took down is uh, half of my Unemployment check. That's what he took. <laughs> that's the thing that you don't want taken down. <laughs> or that stipend. I want that stipend. That that big, the big bucks. <laughs> that $1,200 tax-free. And we have a tax-free shopping day in Florida, too, you know. They do that for a day if you're going to buy something for school, which is not going to be. There ain't going to be a school, so what do we have school sale for? But we have so many things that are contradictions. And, and then we, we're honoring the, the Prince of Sussex and his wife, the uh, bitch of uh, Sussex, the, uh, the uh, Meghan and Harry, who are the, uh, uh, the, 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 I don't know what you call them, the, the royalty. We don't have royalty in this country. The only royalties we have are from performances that we don't have because there aren't any. There's no shows anymore. Uh, there is music. Okay, now, what we're talking about here is the prince and the princess is sticking their nose in the American dream, which is to help all of our lifestyles here and, and contributing their services. And, and, and they're, they're going to be the prince and princess of boredom, is what it is, the kingdom of boredom. <laughs> Sussex, su it, it all su it suck this, is what it is. <laughs> this, is, this is the unbelievable time in history for us to adopt uh, another culture that we got rid of once before. Are we all going to go to another planet pretty quick here? Uh, the rainforest is, is, is being depleted and they don't want us to have that depletion because the wood produces toilet paper. So we're not really concerned about the forest, we're concerned about the wipe that we... <laughs> this is a very charming time in history. <laughs> It is a uh, hey. It's a two ply day over there at uh, in Brazil. <laughs> uh, I want to thank you for for putting up with me for all this time because I know you have short attention span and I'm not interesting enough to have a five minute or a half hour show. That's what they think. But I could go on for an hour like this, and I bet you I never lose you because you know what I'm saying is all a bunch of crap. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that toilet paper from Brazil. Anyway, it's a, uh, it's, a, it's a Clorox day around the house here, and I hope you're having one too. Wear a mask, don't touch anybody, and uh, try to have children that way. It's a Reynolds wrap. <laughs>